What's up everybody, welcome to the second episode of the Sound Nerds Podcast, I'm your host for the podcast Kyle, and today I'm joined by another Kyle, also known as Kyle Gumpert on YouTube, and Nico from New World Nerds from YouTube also. What's up guys, how are you doing? I'm doing great. ASMR. <laughs> Alright, stop, stop, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Can we get, can we, can we get this video? Let's jump right into it. Alright, here we go. And uh, for those listening to the last one, I said Josh and Liam would be in this one, but they have a shit ton of college work to do, so understandably, they can't be here. Plus, uh, we're kind of going to keep guests, guests interchangeable anyway, so it kind of works with that. Mm-hmm. So... Well, we've got a ton of news stuff to talk about and free trailers. The Far From Home trailer, John Wick 3, Shazam clips, which is really cool. So let's just jump into it. <laughs> so the first thing I have, or we have, is a, there's been a bunch of details about the possible Disney Plus TV shows. There's a there's story details and all that stuff. So before we start, what do you guys think about Disney Plus? Like, are you going to get it? Is there anything you want on it? Or anything? Uh. I'll let Nico go first on this one, so he doesn't yell at me for going on another tangent. <laughs> God forbid. Tangent alarm. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do an air horn uh, sound effect with my <laughs> mouth uh, every time we go on a tangent. So what I think about <laughs> Disney+, Plus, uh, I think it'll be great. Uh, I love most things Disney. I think a lot of us do. Love the animated stuff. Love Marvel Studios. Love Star Wars. All that good junk. And they're going to put all that stuff on it. So, you know, give it to me. Shoot it right into my eyeballs. <laughs> Uh, I think it'll be great. Uh, I you stole that from me, Gump. Okay, another thing. <laughs> and then, uh, and uh, yeah, I think I'll probably have to switch this out for Hulu. I I'm curious to see like how uh, soon after something is released uh, that it ends up on Disney Plus. Mm-hmm. So uh, that probably weighs in a little bit, but more than likely, I'm gonna fucking get this. <laughs> um, for me, I'm definitely curious, but my for obviously. My biggest concern is price because these are not cheap shows that they're going to be adding, nope. like Loki and all that other stuff. So it makes you beg the question, how much are they going to charge? Um, but if it's like under – like with these shows, if it's like mm, – I would say like 20 around there, like 20 a month, I'll definitely see that. But like since – but they could go to the DC route uh, where it's like you pay yearly, like I don't know, like 150 a year. Um, if it's like around there, I'll definitely get it. Um, but I'm, am I going to get it? Most likely just because, I mean, dude, these are, are characters we know from the MCU. Yeah. So yeah, I'm really excited. Awesome. Yeah. I think I'm going to get it. Just Star Wars. Some of those shows sound cool. Marvel shows, of course. That's right. Yeah. The Mandalorian and stuff. Oh yeah. Oh, that sounds God. so dope. <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, so it's John Favreau as well. I mean, yeah. like, dude, John Favreau <laughs> is like, like other than Kevin Feige, he's like if there's a trinity of like nerd gods. John Favreau has got to be in the discussion because he kind of built the MCU with his own bare hands. I mean, yes, Pretty Kevin much. Feige was there too, and he assisted him, but like the most of the legwork in the very beginning was John yeah, Favreau. He, yeah, he was the one who fought for Robert Downey Jr. Plus, and then he made plus Iron Man's kind of just the, uh, made up on the go with him. So yeah, I can agree with that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and then he made the Jungle Book. He's got a good visual eye. He's about to make the Lion King, which looks amazing. This dude knows how to make content. He's like, not only is he a good, ner- like a nerdy guy, he also knows how to make films. I'm pretty sure none of you guys have seen this show, this movie called Chef. I've seen that. I he, love Chef. Yeah, I've yeah, seen, yeah, yeah, I yeah, love it's amazing. Movie. Yeah, d- 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 that <laughs> fucking movie's insane. Like he wrote and directed that, and really he had a, a professional chef on set to make sure he was making things Doing look shit, proper right? and stuff like that. As a filmmaker. He's a freaking master. As a nerd, Period. he knows what he's talking about. <laughs> so add the two together. You're going to make quality content. So this is going to be the first time we see him in a show, making a show. show for I'm me. really excited. Yeah, hopefully yeah. that's good. So uh, I'm just going to jump through the info we got, just try and do it as quick as possible, and then we can discuss what everyone's, you feel like, you, you think you'll watch or whatever. So first up is the Vision Scarlet Witch show. It's basically confirmed as happening. And it says it's going to be based on them uh, settling down in the suburbs and that Scarlet Witch's attempt <laughs> to give Vision a soul goes horribly wrong, because of course it fucking would. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and Agatha Harkness will be a bleed villain. And after looking up on her, she's like a witch kind of character. She also works obviously Scarlet Witch, isn't it? Uh, next up is Loki, which we know is happening. And it said that Tom Hiddleston will narrate it only. He won't be in it. Just be his voice. Oh, okay. 
and that it'll be from the viewpoint of a younger Loki. So it's definitely, ah. n- definitely not after Endgame. He's fucking dead. <laughs> he, Good. He, he's d- <laughs> and that uh, Carnilla and Uluk, I think that's how you say it, will be the villains, or like Asgardian villains. I, I have no idea who they are. Then there's a Hawkeye show apparently coming, which sounds quite cool. And that will revolve around Clint Barton training Kate Bishop, who is in the Young Avengers in the comics and takes over no. the name of Hawkeye, which is cool. Oh. So it's not just his show, it's not just about him, which is a cool thing. And uh, they'll be going up against a criminal group led by Trickshot, who's basically evil Hawkeye. <laughs> yeah. From what I've seen. Or it's a, it's a member from Dude Perfect. <laughs> Sorry. You'd be the perfect villains. Uh, they, they hit, they no, hit that everything. Was that was good. <laughs> be perfect for Hawkeye. Okay. Dude, Welcome perfect back to Dude Perfect. We're taking a, <laughs> we're, we're 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 taking out a politician today. Let's see if we can make the shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! That's amazing. Well, they're just terrorists <laughs> who kill people with frisbees <laughs> and basketballs. Like, guys, we just hit we just hit fifty million subscribers. We got an upper game. What are we gonna do? Well, that's right, we're going to become a terrorist group. Oh, shit, look, it's Hawkeye. We're dude perfect. What are you going to do, bitch? <laughs> fucking throws a basketball at the wall. Fucking ricochets and hits Hawkeye in the eye. And gives him a black eye. Now he can't see. He's, per- he's permanently fucked. Concussion. Oh. He's dead. See, oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> see, we're, we're, making, we're making the content for you, Disney. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so the next show is one we know is happening as well. It's the Bucky and Falcon one. I'm really interested too, and it's described as a spy thriller, which makes sense. And uh, the two of them will be recruited by Shield to another criminal group, uh, who is led by U.S. Agent, who is basically the anti Captain America that I've read about. I hardly know who he is. I've ch- checked everything beforehand, and that Nick Fury might appear at Agent Thirteen is also a possibility, which is kind of cool. And next up is one Nico. I know me and you. Oh, love this shit, <laughs> and it's a <laughs> it's a lady Sith show, and it will deal with Sith. Oh fuck yeah! Yeah, <laughs> it would deal with her. Fuck me up with that. <laughs> the show's gonna deal with her banishment from Asgard, which obviously happened before Ragnarok because she survived that. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, and she'll be go- going up against the Enchantress, which is awesome. And there's another sure. yeah, there's another big thing. She'll meet. She'll have a. A few allies in it, including Beta Ray Bill, which is insane. Oh Wait, no! What? Fucking way! <laughs> no I did not fucking know that. way! I was like, That's I was gonna awesome. say, it, it, I'm kind of excited, but out of all the other shows, I'm not like. If I had to put one to the side, I was like, yeah, put put the Lady Sif show to the side. You put Beta Ray Bill in that bitch? I don't know, man. I don't know. Can't man. believe this happened. Oh, it's dude, insane. you piqued my interest beyond. <laughs> like, oh my god, even dude, further that's beyond. So dope. <laughs> Oh my god, now I'm hyped. <laughs> I think that's the yeah, one I'm most interested good. to, to be honest. Ugh. And uh, lastly, it's just a couple of names being thrown around for characters they can use. Apparently War Machine's been flung around, and that we see Rhodey dealing with someone stealing technology from Stark Industries. And there's also names like Moon Knight and Sentry being thrown around. So that's everything mm-hmm. from that one. So what shows from that do you think you're most interested in, or what ones do you think you'll actually watch? Because these sound pretty cool, to be honest. That's <laughs> that's tough. Like, I like oh, like they all just piqued my interest. Between the Loki <laughs> one, my main concern was like it's gonna be him after, after yeah, he'd be part. alive again. Yeah, yeah. I was I was afraid of that. So was I. Um, yeah. Um, I was also afraid of it just being like in be- in between certain movies and stuff like that. But if it's him as a kid, it's definitely going to be a lot more interesting. Uh, yeah. But when it comes to action-wise, I feel like, obviously, the Loki one's going to be the most under-action, if you will. It's going to have the least amount of action because, I mean, the main character is a kid. You can have so- certain action set pieces and stuff like that. You easily can. Yeah. But it's just not going to be revolved around our main character. Plus, he's like, mischievous. He makes things appear, so I don't think if he's action... It wait, won't be like fighting wait. action. It'll be like him doing. Wait, tricking people out. Hold up. What's what's going on? <laughs> uh, 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 Loki, but it's Home Alone in Asgard. 
Yo, <laughs> make that happen. Yes. You just see baby. You just see. You just see baby Thor running around, and then Buck and Loki setting like traps around the house that could easily kill <laughs> us mortals. But it's just you know, it's just like <laughs> Thor just walks it all because he's fucking Thor. Can... Like he sets a spike trap, <laughs> and the spike trap literally crushes him like a sandwich. And then Loki, and then Thor comes out. He's like, ah, <laughs> it hurt. And then he walks away, wobbles around, dude. I dude, can see Thor being the dude. Buzz character, just being an ass. And Loki's <laughs> yeah, yeah, Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, he's Kevin, but it's space. It's like, it's something that you guys never thought you wanted. It's but writing what? itself. It's, happening. <laughs> <laughs> it's a writing itself. There you go, Disney. But um, between Loki, like now I'm excited for that. Um, the Vision in Scarlet Witch, yet again, I was interested, but I was never like r- going to rush out to see it. Yeah. But there, there was a conflict that you brought up that was very interesting, which was you know the whole giving vision a soul and stuff like that. Yeah, that that conflict is something that you can easily say, yep. uh, and it's not like stretching, or like just to make something happen. So it's something that I can see the conflict right now, and th- that's really interesting. But if I had to pick one, <laughs> I would probably go. I, uh, I, mm, I'm still struggling. At the end of the day, I'm probably still going to go uh, Winter Soldier and Falcon because I, I just feel like there's a lot of cool shit you can do there. Yeah. But, um, yeah, yeah. That's if I had to throw one blindly, I'm probably going to go to them first. Yep. Well, that makes sense, though. Their chemistry and comedy is brilliant in the MCU, so mm-hmm. more a name, the better. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. So, uh, Nico, what one would you choose if there was one? Uh... <laughs> If I could only choose one, uh, there's a few characters you said towards the end, like Moon Knight and Sentry. Yep. I really like those characters, and obviously they're a little more obscure and stuff that we haven't seen before. Yeah. But I would really want them in the movies because we've seen in the past they'll get a TV show, but that means we won't see them in the movie ever. So Pretty I'd much. really love to see those guys in like the movie universe or like as the Dark Avengers. Uh, Andy from Nerd Crew Podcast is uh, is really hard on the fucking uh, Dark Avengers, and he put me on it as well. Like I was like, yeah, that sounds fucking dope. We should do that. Uh, the Hawkeye and Kate Bishop one sounds really freaking dope, and I wonder if Kate Bishop is going to show up in Endgame. Could do. Is that who the Thirteen Reasons Why girl is? Oh yeah, oh yeah, I forgot she was in it. Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe anybody, it is. Maybe it is. Yeah. Anybody know? Gump, do you know? Uh, no. I haven't okay. watched the show, uh, but I know who she is. <laughs> yeah, uh, so the Bucky and, uh, and Falcon, ep- or show just sounds like auditions for Captain America. <laughs> like, it's like, whichever one of you people <laughs> like more for season two, that's gonna be who Captain America is. You just make the story, it's them movies. fighting over the shield. It's my shield. Yeah. No, it's mine. <laughs> and, and, and then Tony comes in, he's like, my dad made that shield. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just three three guys in their fucking forties kicking the screen. Yeah. It's a second yeah, yeah, civil exactly. war, but when those three people, they all oh, they God. all want to be yeah. Captain America. <laughs> I'm Dirty Dan. <laughs> uh, Who you call him, Pinhead? <laughs> so as for the Loki show, I hope we get that snake story that we got in Ragnarok, where he's just like one time when we were children, uh, Loki turned himself <laughs> into a sn- sn- snake. So I picked him up to admire him, and then he jumped out and said, "Ah, oh, it's me!" And then he stabbed me. <laughs> <laughs> I hope we get that. That's all I want from that show. Oh my <laughs> god! Yeah, totally do that. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> now I'll be uh, that pissed would... if I don't see that. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Be so yeah, I know I for that, sure. I need that right there. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if I had to pick one of these shows. It would be uh, probably the Lady Sif one because I'm totally down for for going like to weird places, like to other realms and shit like that. Yeah. And I was really upset that she wasn't in Ragnarok. I would totally have been fine if the Warriors Three weren't in Ragnarok, also because they died like super quick. Yeah, so that was pretty lame. Uh, uh, but um, I think this all these shows. I think that maybe they should just do like an American horror story, like kind of like an anthology, like a day in the world of the MCU kind of like series. Cause this is just so many ideas. There's no way they're not going to spread themselves like too thin, or this is just going to seem like watered down or yeah. not make any sense. I say, give each character like an episode or like more like two episodes, you know, make it long. I don't know. But I think, I think that there, there are cooler things to be done. Yeah. Uh, and I just don't want any of them to, for everyone to be like, Oh, I have to watch all these shows <laughs> and them just be like mini series and then only get like a season or something like yeah. that. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, they sound really cool. I think the biggest one for me 
which probably the Lady Sif one as well, because I like to see mm-hmm. what the hell happened, because Odin wouldn't just tell <laughs> her to get lost for no reason, so I'm pretty sure something yeah. happened. And there's an enchantress, like, bloody hell, them two fighting is going to be cool. <laughs> dope. And dope also better cool. rebuild. You... Like, where the fuck did that come from? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's dope. Uh, do you think um do you think it'll be Loki's Odin that banished her? Oh. Oh shit. Yes. Ooh, yeah, oh. that's right because there's a huge <laughs> span of time where he was Odin. acting as Odin. Yeah, yeah between mm-hmm. Thor 2 and then Thor 3. Mm-hmm. And there's that's a huge When did Thor 3 come uh, Thor 2 come out? I think that came out what 2014? Some 13. I'm, 13. 13. Yeah, 13. So yeah, mm-hmm. that's that's uh two no that's three years that's three that's years math. of <laughs> yeah that's math man that's three years of him being Odin yeah sure. so yeah I could Damn. see that uh the that show taking place during that time explaining why she yeah. wasn't in Thor Ragnarok explaining why she wasn't there in Infinity War and you, stuff like that do you think she but maybe she... found out it was Loki. So maybe he was like, alright, you can go away now. Mm, did she see yeah, something? Something like yeah. that? That's I, pretty I th- cool. Maybe. Maybe she uh, was getting too close and then uh, she started asking too many questions. So yeah, uh, could make perfect she, he kind sense. of banishes her. Yeah, but he banishes her. And then it's her trying to clear her name. And that could work, by the yeah. time, like, I, like if, I don't know how close it, this is going to be playing towards Infinity War. Or Ragnarok. But, um, yeah. Or Ragnarok. Like, I. I would find it fascinating. By the time she finds a way to clear her name, the snap happens, and like it's mm. already too late. Like she's so like she's so far away from the MCU during her own story. Like keep it very isolated in such a far pla- a far off place. But she's like, oh my god, I got the information and I got a way a ticket back home. I can clear my name. By the time she goes back, f- fucking Asgard's destroyed, <laughs> and then she's like, oh shit. Where, where could Thor be? Let's go to Earth. She goes to Earth. Everyone's fucking being snapped out of existence. She's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Come on! Just, like, Just give I me a break. Like a, give me a fucking break. You know, she she turns to dust. She's like, you know what? I fucking don't care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> the whole show is just her like being right behind Thor and like Ragnarok like oh I'm I, like I just got to Sakaar and they're on Asgard now and it's just like oh fuck and her going to Asgard and it like right before oh, it's about fuck, to be destroyed, it's and, destroyed. Like, fuck. <laughs> and then she gets right after the it? Guardians pick up Thor she just gets to their ship and be like god damn it <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the way like, you say it. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be the weirdest comedy, dude. It's gonna be the weirdest. It's gonna be a dark comedy of just her constantly getting fucked over. <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah, she's like, you can't make this shit up. Like, I'm always five minutes behind. Not, not five miles. Five, not five years. Five hours. I'm five. Just fucking five feet behind and i see the ship fly away and try to flag him down and you're like wait and then they're still flying they're like sorry i don't see you imagine rocket turns around she's like he's like oh shit guys we got some crazy ass um, bitch there's a lady us. Let's, here let's, floor it. <laughs> <laughs> let's floor it man <laughs> okay, it's oh, just dear. it's just every episode is her being like oh come on that's, not, he, that's the catchphrase of the show <laughs> At the end of each episode, I don't know how many episodes. I'm, I'm assuming they're gonna be kind of small, but it's each probably episode's gonna series, be like yeah. large. Yeah, it's gonna probably be like three, maybe four episodes. Maybe at the end of each that. episode, she just says, "Come on!" <laughs> <laughs> just like he goes just to catch slow her. down, I four. Want, Come on! <laughs> so I want a shirt with Lady Sif on it, and it says, "Come, Come on!" on. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> It's great. Disney, see, we're making. See, not only we're we giving you content for your Disney Plus streaming service, we're also giving you marketing yeah. for shirts and yep. memes. Come on, we're gonna get monetized when this shit does Disney, because if we get no money, oh, you're getting sued. <laughs> yeah, we'll sue you. <laughs> like, hey, man, come on. We're gonna man, sue you with our money. no money. <laughs> Just you took enough of my to money when, when, to go, when I went to go see all your damn movies. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I gave you. Like five hundred dollars in the past year alone, you can give me fifteen bucks. I think you could spare fifteen bucks, you greedy fucking mouse. Fuck you. Give me, give me something. Did you, did you really spend five hundred dollars, Gum? No, no. I don't give. I don't give. Keep track of my fucking money at a movie, specifically Disney. I don't even think I spent that much at a movie this year. 
Eh, well, yeah. No, I did spend 120 bucks at Avengers Infinity War. Um, uh, um, but I mean, Disney um, does own, any, me. own everything, so <laughs> they kind of does. <laughs> after the after the Fox merger is basically confirmed, all that stuff. Literally, everything you're seeing in the theater is just Disney owned. Kind of they're gonna World be World like fucking <laughs> Skynet, dude. They're <laughs> Skynet. Now, they're gonna take over <laughs> Netflix and everything like that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. After their Disney uh, streaming service becomes a big hit. Netflix is going to start losing customers and they're like, hey, Disney, we need some help over here, brother. That would be <laughs> like they're sitting there scratching fucking meth heads and everything. We need some coins. Please, we need some money. That'll and they're like, ah, It'll be every time you see the Disney logo, it'll just be the Terminator theme. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> it'll just be fucking dun, dun, sky dun, dun, there at that point. I think yeah, they're definitely yeah. more by and large from uh, Wally. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be us floating just watching tv on our little hover chairs like, and the just hover like chairs are gonna watching... be owned by disney <laughs> yeah and we're, we're watching fucking star disney wars Brian 20 Fuel. and shit <laughs> star wars episode 37 uh revenge like, of the skywalker Shh. family uh it's called uh the jar jar bink saga oh god <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! I mean, like this, and after thirty-seven movies, you, there's only so many things you can uh, go to. I think after after that point, they're like, "Fuck, guys, we need to go back to a nostalgic property." I got it. It's gonna be George Lucas in a fucking fishbowl head. Like he's like, "Hey guys, I got an idea." Jar Jar Binks. He was a big hit back in the day, and they're like, "Huh?" The history books don't say that. He's like, "Shut up, do it now." I own this property. Okay. Well, we'll he waves it. his hand and he says, "You will make the Jar Jar Binks movie." <laughs> Do it. <laughs> yeah. Do it. <laughs> okay, so, I guess everyone from the Marvel shows, they sound pretty cool. Can't wait for some of them. So, let's jump on the next topic, which is a weird one. And it's basically because Aquaman made a shit ton of money. They made like a billion dollars, like really fast, that they've decided to take a back seat with the universe and take it more slowly, do like a film at a time instead of every film trying to connect to everything. Which I think's a bit weird, because if Aquaman made that much money, it's a bit weird than, oh, okay, maybe we need to slow down now. Is it, oh, alright. So, uh, what do you guys think about that? Because I think it's fucking weird that they've decided to do that. Uh, well, I think that, um, hey, you should have been doing this from the beginning. Focus exactly. on one film <laughs> at a time. I don't know why this is a fucking revelation to you guys, <laughs> but Marvel's, <laughs> like, to Warner Brothers as a whole, like, oh, hey, we're supposed to just focus on one story. Who would have fucking thought? Uh, Use all like, the characters. That's, uh, Use them all. <laughs> yeah. I think, let's put them all in an email drive. <laughs> 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 No, uh, I think that. <laughs> sorry, no, we gotta stop doing that. We always trash logos. Warner Brothers in every podcast. Uh, <laughs> this is my second one. I'm so, not trashing them at all. <laughs> okay, okay, good, good. We got some time on this one. Uh, but see, Marvel Studios they they put all their eggs in the, that freaking Iron Man basket. If that yeah. didn't do well commercially, they oh. would have like found a way to like make iron man 2 basically like the avengers movies and not have they wouldn't have had enough money to do like uh do each solo movie and stuff like that yeah, right yeah. there was contingencies they, went down but the they knew they had to make a good yeah they were gonna go bankrupt uh they knew they had to get this right and i think they tried to do that with man of steel but they picked such an iconic character yeah uh, that they that it ended up being divisive uh iron man was a character that the casual audience didn't really know so yeah. they could do whatever they wanted to with it it was like and, um, C-list or some shit. I don't know. Exactly. What, I don't know what exactly. Larry was. <laughs> I don't, but it was bad. It, <laughs> <laughs> it would have made your GPA bad. Uh, but but uh, yeah, I think if they would have started with Aquaman, like a character that was just being made fun yeah. of for the longest time and go balls to the wall. But I mean, obviously it wouldn't have looked as good because CGI and stuff like that. Yep. But I think if they would have taken like maybe a B-list character, I know Aquaman in the comics and for someone like me, he's an A-lister. Like he's just as fucking dumb dope as superman or batman to me you beat the shit out of superman if he wants to (laughs) Ooh, if they're in a there's a puddle around you're in trouble (laughs) 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 but uh, i think that they should have been doing this like the reason that freaking uh that bvs failed in my eyes and a lot of people's eyes reason that uh (laughs) i have to say that because i know there's some people who really like it the reason that the mummy failed is because they're trying to build this universe before there's a good movie first focus on making one good movie i'll try to build it i'll try to build it with one movie because iron man just had a hint at the end but it's just fling it all in at once that's why it doesn't work (laughs) (laughs) exactly (laughs) 
I think I think it has to exist on its own and have little um, little hints, little uh, little uh, loose ends pieces. that you can tie to other things. Yeah, yeah, pieces. So I think this is great. You guys should have been doing this from the beginning. Uh, I hope that I think that once these solo <laughs> movies like Aquaman was very successful, Shazam I think is going to do well. Should, Wonder Woman yeah, 84 before. it's going to do well. I think after these start doing well again, then they'll bring them all back together and be like, ah, sure, there's the worlds of DC, <laughs> all the same world. Well, Justice League 2, let's go get it. We did it the whole time. This is all meant. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're meant to start yeah. bad. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to agree with Nico. Um, not as, uh, I won't say passionate, but like, I do, I have a slight concern as well. Because uh, when you do take it like one film at a time, uh, like I know when they say one film at a time, they're not just focusing on one movie from beginning to end, then starting the next one. Yeah. But like, it kind of alludes to that in a certain way, because if they're doing from beginning to end one film at a time... Uh, that means we're going to only be getting a DC film every two years, maybe every three years. Mm. I know that's not what they're saying, but like, I'm afraid that if they get a little uh, too talk, cautious, uh, yeah. yeah, I don't want them getting too cautious, but this is where I will, I'm going to like start leaning towards the other way. But like, you're absolutely right. They have been like the past three years, like as a YouTuber, holy fuck. Fucking shit. Like, I, when this new guy came in, thank the gods, because I remember, like, every fucking week, I was talking about the news. It's like, seven different topics came up about DC and stuff like that. It's like, the Flash movie's coming out, 2018. Look where that got us. And, and like, it's like... Here's a film we're announcing. So much shit. Here's another film. So- we're announcing all the movies. Yeah. That's where it led to yeah, as well. Exactly. Announcing all exactly. the shit. They, they just... They, they were way too fast. Now, this guy seems to know... Like, he knows what he's talking about. People are giving him credit for Aquaman. That's not totally fair because that was also under... This whole entire film was made, filmed, in the eyes of the previous DC guy. The previous DC exec. But Jeff with John? Shazam... Yeah, uh, not Sorry. Jeff Johns. The other guy. The guy that was above him. Jeff Johns was never on top. Uh, Jeff Johns was just like the head of Foggy, but never <laughs> yeah. get it. <laughs> but um, <laughs> no, but Dirty like bastards. <laughs> yeah, um, they just were rushing it and stuff like that, and like we're gonna start seeing this new executive producer's like his style on uh, it, yeah. Shazam and stuff like that. Yeah, <clears throat> with, with Shazam and then Wonder Woman and stuff like that. Um, it was like with him, it was his call to move Wonder Woman back uh, a year. Which I'm fine with. I'm a little upset, mm-hmm. like yeah. as a fan, because that's going to be another year we're out the way for Wonder Woman. But as a fan, well, not as a fan, as a as a film critic and stuff like that, it makes sense. You want to give one year to each character, and if we're going to get one year uh, per MCU, not MCU, DC film, uh, I feel like that's a good start. Yeah. That's a an incredible start, and then slowly build up to two movies a year and then once you are able to make one good movie a year then start making those two films a year but i just i'm a little concerned if they start you know like i'm not saying that it's gonna be like that because 2020 we're gonna get wonder woman but for shits and giggles say we we, wonder woman staying in 2019 like if they took it slow like we're probably gonna have an entire year of 2020 of not having any dc films maybe and that's bad on them that's bad on us as the fans I don't want them getting too cautious, but if they pace themselves like the way they have been, that's good news. Yeah. Um, like, like uh, they've been very subtle with what they have been releasing and stuff like that. Like, they want to make a Blue Beetle movie, which I'm really excited about, but they haven't talked about too much about it. Like, we got a release date. We got this. We got that. The nerd- no, they said, like, this is like the first news of, uh, we heard about a new movie pe- uh, coming out for like a long time. They're like, hey. Blue Beetle is in the works. We don't know where it's going yet, yeah. but it's something that we definitely want to make. And you guys, uh, Nico was right, right on the money as well, like with them uh, focusing on their iconic characters. Let's get the lower end characters. That's why I think Shazam is a good start. I mean, mm-hmm. like to me, he has always been one of my favorite DC characters, always. From the animated stuff I've seen him in and some of the uh, uh, comics I've seen him in. He was always one of my favorites, but he's just a, he's just a to, good, fun character, to be honest. Yeah, he's yeah. he's a fuck, he's an incredible <laughs> character. He's like one. He's gonna be the probably the first kid superhero we've seen on a big budget. Pretty much. And 
Yeah, and I'm really excited to see that. And then, like, they can build up very subtly, probably by, like, 2023, let's hope, 2025, who knows. We'll see a Justice League with, like, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, Shazam, maybe Blue Beetle, and stuff like that. Mm. And then we'll get a decent villain. But, like, we're probably going to end up waiting until a little bit later than that. But, like, yeah. like, like everyone said, keep it subtle, but let's not, like, let's not keep it too slow. But let's not rush it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, man. I just hope they they take that slow down as just a good chance to get everybody on board and actually mm-hmm. they probably have a plan behind it all. But if you just slow it down, it'd be a lot easier. And the thing with Aquaman, the way that turned out, like I really enjoyed that movie, and I feel like if Aquaman, like the movie we got, was the original start of the DCEU, I think it would be in a much better standing now because Man of Steel. Which I do, I do like. It's probably my favorite DCEU movie, but to take Superman and try and handle him differently or whatever is maybe a bad way to start it because he's such a well-known mm-hmm. character. So if you kind of divide people on that, a bit hard to kick him with other people. So if Aquaman now was the start of it, I think there'd be a much better standpoint. I hope the slowdown just makes them realise, okay, Aquaman did a good thing, we let James Wan do whatever the fuck he wanted, and look what happened, we made a billion dollars very quickly. <laughs> so, maybe it's slow... It's kind of <laughs> tough. It's kind of <laughs> tough when Aquaman makes more money than your Superman movie, and then your... Like, I think it made BBS a little movie. bit more than than BVS. I, it's, it if did. not, it's getting closed. Yeah. yeah. It beat your BVS movie. It beat Man of Steel. It beat Justice and it beat League. Justice League. Yeah. What the fuck? What the fuck kind of world are we living in? Like you the know, best you kind. fucked up. The best you kind. fucked up as a as a universe, as a nerdy company. You <laughs> fucked up when Aquaman, Fish Boy, the old Fish kills Boy. it all. It fucking makes more money than Superman <laughs> and BVS with your two most iconic characters with Wonder Woman in there for God's sake. You fucked I can't I can't even comprehend what kind of world we're living in, guys. We're it's fucking dogs and cats making love, mass hysteria. I don't know what I don't even know, man. I don't even know. So, thanks for that image. Yeah, thanks for that. You're beautiful welcome. image. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I hope they just just realize what's worked with that and just Take a back seat and be like, okay, yep, yeah, this is how we do it now, and just keep producing good movies because that's all we really want, isn't it? <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. So, uh, okay, on to the third topic. It's kind of our last one before trailer stuff. And uh, uh, with Detective Pikachu coming out, which looks pretty good, looks like a pretty good adaption mm-hmm. of Pokemon stuff, and they all look great. And apparently now, since there's been like. I think, I think it's getting test screened now or whatever. I think the reaction's been quite good. And basically, they are now developing a live-action Pokemon movie based on Red and Blue, which is like the original games, I think, if I remember. Red, Blue, and Yellow were the first uh, were the first ones. Uh, okay. Yellow kind of came out later. Uh, but yeah, yeah, that's focused around Kanto, like the Indigo League parts of the show, stuff like that. Right, cool. Okay. So yeah, they're developing uh, yeah. a movie based on Red and Blue, which is really cool because live action Pokemon sounds awesome. Even though we've got exactly. Detective Pikachu, yeah. but it shows everything can work and all that stuff. And then we can maybe get Ash or Red, whoever's in those games, and just mm-hmm. see a kid trying to become a Pokemon master, basically. And I I can already hear a Rocky montage in my head of some kid catching Pokemon. <laughs> exactly! <laughs> He'd be the very, very best. best. <laughs> like no one da, da, ever was. was. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So be like some kid this with Pokeballs. So just... No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Training the Pokemon. Do it. Attack yeah, it's just shit. fucking Pokemon hitting the fucking bag, like fucking <laughs> doing a speed bag and shit. Oh, the kid's yeah. chasing them like the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, chasing the chicken. And then he just fucking electrocutes him and makes him into KFC. He got you. <laughs> <laughs> but like, okay, so I'm not sure if uh, Kyle knows, but I know Nico knows. For the longest time, I was kind of. To, to, to say the least, I was skeptical about Detective Pikachu because <gasps> the movie, I, the, not only, I wanted shocker. to see this. I know, right, Shocker? Mm. No, the movie I wanted to see just was this. Just Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, this is what I wanted to see. And now the fact that 
Detective Pikachu, the trailer looked fucking sick, and oh, the yeah. visuals <laughs> alone looked incredible. The Pokemon look I, I, like, it, absolutely perfect. Am I? I know, Fuck right? Yeah. Charizard, Pikachu. dude. Charizard, yeah, oh Pikachu looks amazing. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Like, it gets me more excited <laughs> for this. And yeah. this is the movie I wanted to see. I'm just, now, now I'm on board with Detective Pikachu all the way. I'm really excited for that. But really good. I didn't think it was even possible to get me more hyped about a possible Pokemon. red and blue movie. <laughs> but, like, this is just, oh, my God. I mean, like, I was never, like, a massive fan growing up. But, like, the first game mm-hmm. I played on Game Boy Advance was F- Pokemon Fire Red. So it was, like, the, the updated version on that. So I grew up playing that game. I played it, like, seven times over. I got Mewtwo, like, three <laughs> times. I spent two and a half hours trying to uh, get Mewtwo in a Pokeball. I fucking did it because I'm a god. <laughs> and, like, I just loved those games growing up. And the fact, like, that, like what Nico said, I wanted a, to see a Rocky-esque Pokemon movie where he's getting that eight Hell badges yeah. and shit like that. And I want to see Red. I want to see Red not because I have anything against Ash. It's just because Ash is already popular as it is. I want to get yeah, something the, a little bit more different. He's, Plus, the, cause, he's the staple of Pokemon, so Red might be yeah. interesting to see instead of him yeah exactly and plus like red throughout the uh series like a lot a couple of animated stuff that i've seen if i'm not mistaken red is supposed to be like this badass like if i'm not mistaken of or if i'm mixing up some lore i saw on youtube can't remember anything anyway so no no like there's so much pokemon shit i did watch as a kid like i don't even know anymore but like (laughs) you can easily make red like a total badass like in the beginning make him like you know, a normal child, whatever, like, I mean, at the end of the movie, he's still gonna be a normal child, but he's gonna be complete, utter badass, like, yeah. <laughs> and, like, you have Team Rocket in there, dude, like, oh my god, this is so fucking hype, I'm excited, like, like, I wanna see him actually pick, not, not pick Pikachu or anything like that, that's Ash's thing, pick Squirtle, fucking Charizard, Square. I don't give a flying Square. balls, Square. 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 pick something that's not Pikachu, Pikachu can have his IP and his Detective Pikachu movie. Yeah. Let's get someone else the spotlight. It doesn't have to be a cutesy character. A do- a surprise, surprise. You don't need a cutesy character to sell Pokemon. Surprise, I know. Absolutely but whatever. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. So, uh, let, let me let me just... Could, I'm going to probably nerd out a little bit too much. Like... <laughs> Like, cause Pokemon, run, like, run, this run, it's nerd out. Sh- it's nerd out. <laughs> get, get out! It's gonna explode. His palms are sweaty. Run. <laughs> Knees weak, arms are heavy. All right, <laughs> but <laughs> all right. I'm sorry, uh, but this was my shit. Like before, it was Avengers and fucking Star Wars. It was fucking Pokemon for me. Absolutely. Like I had Pokemon everything. I had a fucking Charizard <laughs> backpack. I had a fucking Game Boy Color that had fucking Pokemon all around it. This was my shit. Uh, so Red and Blue, like Red, was one of the first games I have ever gotten. Like Damn. I went to the store and I picked it out. I was like, I want Pokemon Red, <laughs> and that's and they they gave it to me. Ooh, baby, how much time did I waste on that thing? Uh, it was amazing. Uh, and then I ended up getting the remake Fire Red whenever it came out. Uh, and like I just I fucking love this part. I love the Kanto story. That's why I'm so excited to play Let's uh, Let's Go uh, or Let's Go Pikachu or whatever it is. Yeah. And. Um, because it's the same story. I know it's like been beaten over the head with. We get we get like generation one so much, but that's my shit. Like yeah. that's so nostalgic for me. Absolutely, and like man. Gump was saying, like like yeah, I was like Detective Pikachu is the first fucking Pokemon movie we get, but it opened the fucking door. So <laughs> that for us to get this, because I was skeptical too. Like obviously I was gonna go see it no matter what, and I was, uh, but. I I was very skeptical. I was like, it just looks a little weird. You know, every time there's like live action and fucking animated stuff, like it's Mixed always a little yeah. weird. Always uh, especially when it's... <laughs> Dude, don't... <laughs> Sonic is also my shit. That's the first game I ever picked out uh, for console. And this one's getting a movie too. This is like who... Like someone went into my brain and picked out everything from my childhood and started to make movies about it. Someone, will, way. someone, will <laughs> have, someone with a clipboard. <laughs> Okay, they're like this. Yeah. This. This. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but this is my favorite one. Uh, there's this really cool series, and you can find it on YouTube. I think it's only like six episodes. Pokemon Origins, where it talks about, like, it follows like the game uh, journey. So it's like red and blue. Blue's your rival. He's basically the Gary, like from the anime. <laughs> Gary. Uh, 
Yeah, Game that fucking Harry. bitch. He's, especially <laughs> like in the game, he's always like, "Smell you later." So I always made him like fucking like, like, like. So when, like, it's funny how like how his name evolved in my fucking game. First, it was like, "Ha, you're Smelly. I'm gonna name you Smelly." And I take that. And then like the last game, it was like Asshat or Queef or something like that. It was Asshat. <laughs> Yeah, it was ass hat. And it was like, ah, shit, you little bitch. <laughs> so, uh, so I'm so fucking excited for this. Yeah, go Before check out Pokemon be. Origins. That's what, uh, that it just follows the stuff. And Red actually learns. Ash is like on his third badge. He's like, what? A, a rock beats electric type? Yeah, you fucking moron. Like, you, should, you didn't do any research before you fucking like came out here and fucking started a trek and you just like hit on Stone Misty's bike what's, and what's never make a move. <laughs> yeah, like no shit. He's like, he's, he doesn't know anything. Yeah, like, the one thing I... I, I loved the shows growing up, but, like, the one thing that kind of always triggered me was the fact that no matter what, Pikachu at the end of the day was going to solve Ash's problems. Always going to matter if it, it was yeah. fucking <laughs> Pikachu versus Raichu, Pikachu wins. Pikachu versus Onix, <laughs> Pikachu wins. Pikachu versus fucking Mewtwo. At the end of the day, you could say, no, win. Mewtwo won. No, Pikachu's going to win because <laughs> literally Pikachu is his lord and savior. He's on a fucking cross. He died for your sins. <laughs> so, like, like I, in this movie, if Red is the fucking trainer, I feel like there's going to be some, guess, wait for this, Pokemon fans, logic behind the fucking <laughs> movie. Maybe. Like, when he's going against, like, just say, like, he, he picked Charmander out, right? He goes against the first uh, gym gym leader, and that's uh, clearly the rock type. Like, he's going to be like, oh, shit, brother. Fucking Charmander's <laughs> getting his ass kicked. He's not Char- Dude, like, Pikachu. <laughs> Charmander ain't going to be like, oh, don't worry, brother. I'll get back. I'll kick his fucking ass. And he wins. Oh, no, yeah. no. He's going to use a different Pokemon <laughs> using some logic behind yeah. it. That's what I'm also excited about, not seeing Pikachu saving the day for fucking usual. And if Plus, I see no, Pikachu. Pikachu saving the day. <laughs> yeah, if I see Pikachu. As his main Pokemon, not gonna lie, I might be a little pissed. Just a little bit pissed, because I get it. But Pikachu is the iconic character, the most iconic Pokemon in your entire series. He's the face yeah. of your of your brand. Your brand, but yeah. I, I'd like, listen, at the end of the day, you, you, Marvel, the, when you think of Marvel, most people think of Spider-Man. He's one of the most iconic yeah. characters. When you He's think of DC, state. you see... Yeah, you when you see DC, you see Batman and Superman. But does that mean everything has to revolve around those two dickheads? No! Nope. <laughs> fucking use something else! Please! You could have fooled me. Shit. They fucking always do still. You know? Yes, absolutely. Still just them. But yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to this movie because Pokemon's not, I don't think it's as big a deal to me as it was to like Nico when you were younger. But I still yeah, I still that. I still yes. like it. Sorry about that. Still like it and stuff, and like Gump, what you were saying, getting it, getting red instead of Ash might actually have some development because Ash is still, <laughs> f- Ash is still motherfucking ten in Pokemon. <laughs> like he's what in the, the fuck? fucker's been ten years old for almost fifteen fucking years, dude. Joe, like... Joe doesn't make sense even in the show. You guys want to hear some theories about why he's still ten? Um, is he a clone or some shit? No, no, no. Well, there's one where in the first episode he gets electrocuted by lightning or whatever because okay. of Spiros and Pikachu saves him. So he's in a coma. And that's why, <clears throat> like, all the ah. police officers are the same. That's why all the nurses are the same. <laughs> that's why everything gets easier after that. But there's also, like, a better theory that's not as dark because uh, <laughs> it's just like, oh, yeah, he's in a fucking hospital bed it's and fucking dream. Pikachu's just there waiting for him to wake up. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, there's a better theory where, where – uh, after like his first adventure, I'm so sorry, Gum. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, but after the first them. episode, he sees a ho uh, right. and a, like its Pokedex description is a uh, is once you see this, uh, like uh, you'll like your dreams will come true. And his dream is to always be a Pokemon trainer, so that's why he's stuck being ten. Stuck being ten. So, okay. Yeah, but it's, it's like, just... yeah. I guess he never wanted to bone either. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just... now you know it's not a fucking realistic show listen i like i i'll suspend my belief for like pokemon and shit like that flying creatures <laughs> with that uh, breathe fire but the second that you say a 10 year old kid doesn't want to get laid 
bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just it's weird because even in the yeah. show, Pikachu, him and Pikachu come back to Pallet Town, and Ash is like, "It's been a whole year since we left. How are you still ten? <laughs> I want to see. I want to see yeah, a birth certificate. Really good moisturizer. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me see a birthday see if we can do. <laughs> Yo, listen, ladies, I'm gonna tell you something about this uh, this makeup brand I've been running for a while. You'll you'll look ten for the rest of your life. <laughs> Make a fucking billion so, dollars right then and there. <laughs> that that boom, that exact minute. Money drop. Call now. <laughs> Call now. The, limited the, supply. The thing you were explaining though, like how you want there to be logic in the fights and shit like that. It's not just uh, Pikachu. Definitely after this, look up Pokemon Origins because that's exactly how it is. He's like getting his like his Trimander's getting his ass kicked by a Squirtle, and he's like, "What the fuck's happening?" And they're like, "You're fucking idiot. Do this, this, and this." Like, or, like they don't say it like that. But you then even suck. when he's fighting Brock, Brock's like, "You idiot. I'm the first fucking gym leader, and you can't beat me here. Like, let me help you." Like, and then he learns awesome. from there. Like, he's not just like, "Oh, Pikachu, you got him. You got him with Thunder Smash." <laughs> doing a thing uh, that's definitely gonna be something i'll definitely check out when uh whenever i get the chance to find it and uh, yeah I'll jump on that because, yeah because like yet again Let's that's go. probably when i started growing up i started getting sick of tired of pokemon and it was mainly because like yet again it was the same <sighs> how shit dare you <laughs> how how dare i how dare you <laughs> i'm talking about no nope. you hear me listen to me fucking talk about growing up and i'm still fucking raging about people not liking the <laughs> Far From Home trailer. <laughs> like, hey, I'm a grown man. What? You hate the Far From Home trailer Run. because X, Y, and Z? You fucking bot! He's, he's, <laughs> like, he's, yeah, Nico, grown he's man, by the way. Nico, he's going <laughs> off. It's another nerd I wasn't gonna, <laughs> You said something. I know. It's, oh, God, another nerd bomb. No, there, you said something. Ah, oh, what was I going to say? Oh, I also hate how in every new like region, he's like the weakest guy. <laughs> like, you, your Poke, Pikachu should, should be level 100 right now. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know how much Absolutely. XP he has? Like, Look at that little shit. <laughs> yeah, and then, like, every new that's region, so he's true. just like, he's like, this level five fucking, fucking Growlithe just beat us. What the fuck? <laughs> how on the earth? <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah, that's true, though. I never thought about that. Like, every time they go to a new region, his Pikachu gets fucking bitch slapped. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Really looking forward to that movie, though. I need a Rocky montage, just like one. I honestly, that's all I can see now when I got told, here's a Pokemon <laughs> movie. Yeah, exactly. Like, can he, can he get his ass beat or something and then go, okay, we have to go train. And so, it's just a montage of him. <laughs> get it. Keep going. Wait. It's just a montage of him uh, studying. Maybe studying yeah. what Pokemon yeah. beats what. Study training hard. with them. <laughs> Fucking, yeah. Capturing them. Yeah. It's just, there's a lot they could do with that. And yeah, and they should definitely have the Rocky theme in it because that is the tits. So yeah, <laughs> work awesomely. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I would have kept. Def- I would definitely kept smashing my table, but then freaking Kim, who's <laughs> living <laughs> directly <laughs> under me, would have been like, "What the fuck is going on? It's another earthquake!" <laughs> so oh uh, did he God. lose in Fortnite again? <laughs> <laughs> Did he just get thirsted by another teammate? Like, oh my god, brother. Freaking run, dude. Run, brother. Like, like dude, like, no, nah, like, oh my god. But yeah, I'm really excited. Like, like you guys yeah. said, I'm going to be pretty upset if it's not red. And plus, this has got to play at least once in the movie. Oh, wait, no, 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 never mind. I got an ad. I was going to play a little song, 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 song. Wait, wait, hold, 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 okay. hold, hold, okay. hold, oh, hold, hold, fire. Mm. Fucking skip! <laughs> Thank you. Wait, no, it paused. What do you mean? Um... So, like, I think, or, like, oh, shit, here it comes. Yeah, there you go. So, like, it, Ash versus Red would be really cool. Like, da, da, if we got that, da, like, at the end, like, we tease Ash versus Red. Da, da, da. Yeah, gonna train Pika Pokemon P. real hard. Ah, ah, Pikachu. Ah, right. <laughs> Pika, 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 Blue. Pika, Pika, Pika. Uh. <laughs> Pika, Pika, Pika. <laughs> I'm gonna peek at you and make you a Pika black and blue. <laughs> Oh shit, brother! Get roasted. <laughs> you got roasted by a fucking rodent. There's some fighting <laughs> So yeah, yeah. Look, re- really looking forward to that. I think yeah. It's... Yeah, we we spend entirely too much time. Yeah, on yeah we have, we have. Goddamn Pokemon. <laughs> but hey, right, I think that's all the new shit we've got to talk about. Some cool stuff in there. Pokemon seems to be the biggest thing we're excited about because they're big old fucking weebs. <laughs> <laughs> but hey. So, do you want to just jump into some trailer talk? Because we've got Far From Home yeah. to talk about. Because that trailer was... That trailer was... Oh fucking awesome. That Far From Home trailer is great. 
Yes, Can't wait for that. Sheer, sheer dopeness. Go <laughs> ahead. Can you, you give us your, your thoughts first? For, so the yeah. trailer. Okay, time for me to be in the nerd bomb then. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah I, I love that. I think it looks like one of the Spider-Man movies I've always wanted. Just him dealing with shit and just villain after villain coming at him. Because... Well, we had three, four like elemental things. There's Mysterio, who I kind of think's faking it. I think he's still going to be a bad guy at the end of it all. Yeah, obviously. <clears throat> yeah, I can see something happening where maybe Spider-Man pisses him off, or he's just doing it going, look, I'm a hero, I'm really cool, and then something happens. He's like, okay, cool, fuck everybody, here's some illusions. Get, <laughs> get all messed up in the head. But yeah, I lo- love the action. I love that it looks like Peter's actually kind of affected by Endgame because they've said it's after that so it's definitely mm-hmm. not a prequel or anything because he leaves the suit behind and I doubt yet him saying I just want to spend time with my friends in the back of his head is definitely I died fuck wearing that thing anymore yep. see you later so I think that's kind of deal with it I just I just like that it's a big adventure thing it's not just I'm in New York it's like go to another country where he's like, oh, they don't need Spider Man, and oh wait, of course they need Spider Man, because crap always goes wrong when you swing about, little dude. <laughs> plus <laughs> yeah, plot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, plus there's just I just really like. Plus Sony c- wants their money. <laughs> Give us the mm. money, all the, the money. <laughs> but yeah, I love the trade line. It's great. Mysterio coming out and having his bull fucking. Hell yeah. Helmet. Oh my god, that was so dope. <laughs> when when did they make Mysterio a badass? Because even the, I know, that's even, the 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 even the fishbowl, even the fishbowl. Approximately whenever that trailer came out, amazing. Like the they made the fishbowl look cool. Like how how did they make a fishbowl look cool? It's the dumbest thing help. in the comics. <laughs> yes, yes, okay, yeah, he'll help. He'll definitely help. But uh, oh. there's a thing with the fishbowl thing. My friend was in my house when the trailer dropped, so we watched it together. And he's not as into the stuff as, say, you guys or me. And uh, so when Mysterio's fishbowl thing showed up, I went nuts. And he just hounded me with nerd stuff. I'm like, yeah, I am. That shit's dope. <laughs> and I just got hounded for that. Because I freaked yes. the hell Suck out. Suck my nerd dick, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, because I had the biggest freak out over a fishbowl. <laughs> so, maybe I am a bit nerdy. <laughs> That's the life we lead. Right? Exactly. You know I mean, like, yeah, we're in a world where we can literally get whatever the fuck we want. <laughs> and these pansies that don't live in our world, we're like, what are we missing? And I'm like, they're like, they're sitting there contemplating, like, what like, what, what hmm. are we missing? Thinking. Hmm. Strokes Thinking beard. emoji. Hmm. And, we're, and we're sitting here having the time of our fucking lives because we got Thanos killing out the Avengers and then we got Fishbowl over here in the Bit next old year. Fishbowl <laughs> head. <laughs> fishbowl head. We can get whatever the fuck we want. We're sitting here on a gold mine, dude. We're like, we get... Just if you bitch enough for something, you probably are gonna get it. <laughs> I mean, like this is—I yeah, mean, that's yeah. the kind of community we're living in now. Yes, yeah, they find them nagging. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, like you're right though. Like Mysterio is always one of—I won't say my favorite because Electro mm. growing up was always one of my favorites, and they totally, you know, just fucking wiped his face <laughs> as if it was toilet paper. Pretty all much. of his, their ass. Yeah, look, like, that was awful. <laughs> that pissed me off as a fan, but whatever. And then. What like in my top ten rogues gallery, Mysterio is probably like somewhere in like number five. No, he's, he's, and I never thought I was gonna see him because like he, exactly. he looks fucking weird. He <laughs> looks fucking weird, and like and the fact that we I see him and they made him look badass, like yeah. Jake Gyllenhaal, like an A list actor. Like it's like this is the greatest time to be alive. My gra- I'll be on my fucking deathbed at two hundred and fifteen years old, and people oh, yeah, are like, yeah. what, mm. what's the what's the one thing that you just That's love about up. your life? I'm like, when I was in my twenties. I got to see Jake Jalen Hall wearing a fishbowl head and no one make jokes about it. They're no like, one what? Said I'm shit. like, yeah. No one said shit. People are like, that looks dope. That's what I'm excited about my life. I can be like fucking old as shit. I'm like, it's just a revert back to that. Just like I saw I saw Infinity War, I saw Civil War, I, I saw literally everything I grew up loving as and a kid on the big guy. screen. And then fishbowl guy. I mean like you're right. I think this is all an illusion. I, obviously, it's not mm. like a, a un, like a unknown theory. Everyone's basically guessing this. Pretty much, like, yeah. Yeah, like I don't know if I, see... I don't know if they're illusions. I think maybe they're under his control because uh, the th- 
they're kind of I can't remember what his things are like in comic books anymore because aren't they just like fake and it's just that subconscious just feeling in your mind so then being able to break stuff and like physically punch the it's crap the out of him with a water hand that might just be under his control maybe I don't know. I think so too. Yeah, I, 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 there, so I, I get, I, there's a lot of theories I got going on right here, which is good. That's the point of a trailer. It makes yeah. it doesn't give you too much away. Like this is for first trailer sakes. When it comes to like MCU trailers in the past couple years, this <clears> gave <throat> us the most, but yet nothing. Like you yeah, don't know just... what the fuck is going on, but you got you got a taste of what's going on. Yeah. Peter goes to to the to the U, to the UK, goes to Europe, and the shit fucking hits the fan, and then. You don't know what the uh, elementals are. I know H- Hydro Man's one. I think that was Sandman. I'm not too I think sure. it is. I had, Molten Man. Uh, yeah, that was Molten Man. I had to look and, that one up. And but, whoever um, the lightning fucker is. Yeah, so so people um, have been theorizing, like, what if he's actually using real magic, like like level one magic. Mm. Like level one magic. So okay. it's very basic stuff. Uh, so that's one theory. Like, he's still got the illusions and everything like that, but he's still got level one magic because, like, you when he's going against Hydra Man, you saw a little Doctor Strange image and stuff like that. Like, like when he uses the Time Stone, you you got a little image of that. So um, it oh, makes okay. you think, is he, is he actually using some form of magic or is that just another illusion to make it look like he's using magic? Could be. But um, another theory is the fact that you're right. Uh, he's These are real people. But he's got them under their uh, under his control. Yeah, or, make himself look good. Or they are all real, but they are also working with him to make him look good. For like these guys are like the the leg workers. Yeah, these guys are there to make him look good. To get he's the, paying them. He's there. paying. He's paying them a bucket load of money, maybe. Because if yeah, that's exactly. actually Sandman, he's only going to be there for money. So it makes sense. Yeah, exactly. So like, there's definitely there's th- that's three big like you know theories that can go completely different directions yeah and and my thing is i think they are real to a like a certain extent Extent. i'm not sure if it's gonna be like like i'm not sure if they are like being manipulator or whatnot but like i feel like if they were real this could lead towards a sinister six very subtly pretty much like uh with with sandman being like like maybe like hydra man and uh molten man are like imprisoned and what and whatnot but Sandman escapes because he's a pretty big member of the Sinister Six. Yeah. Mysterio ends up going to jail, but at the end of the movie, he breaks free by from Vulture. Vulture ends up escaping prison, and, Vul- and Vulture gets them out. We can get a Sinister Six movie by well, Spider-Man Sc- 3. Scorpion's it- in prison as well. Yeah, exactly. I, I remember so, hearing about that. So uh, you that. are developing a Sinister Six movie, and the main villain for Spider-Man 3 could be Doc Ock, and then you got a Sinister Six movie right then and there. Pretty much, but, yeah. Um, yeah, did we just need a Spider-Man movie? Like, I just <laughs> hope Tom Holland stays. I've been going on too long. Uh, Nico, what are your thoughts? Yeah, you go. Squat. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, obviously, Mysterio is the coolest part of this um, trailer. It was <laughs> fucking yeah. dope. Uh, I think that uh, I think definitely textbook uh, Mysterio, but I think that they could. De- they're definitely good. Or they should put a twist in there to be like, oh well, everyone kind of had maybe like a piece of it, right? You know, because mm. for me, he he looks like a fucking syndrome motherfucker <laughs> trying to like. He, I feel like when Mysterio has a, hatches a plan, like he's in control of everything. Yeah, I wouldn't be yeah, surprised absolutely. if it's like some sort of like uh, controlled like construction apparatus. So that's why the buildings are like going down and mm. stuff like that. But, like it's an <laughs> like it's all like holograms, like to do like the water effect and like. The, his spells, quote unquote, or maybe all of it's like fake. That. Maybe Peter never leaves. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's all in Peter's head. Uh, one thing I would really love to see from Mysterio's illusion, I would love for it to happen where they're at like the carno- carnival or whatever, and like Peter like goes uh, does like get some concessions and he's coming back. He's about to meet his friends, and then someone like yells out Peter, and then he's they start to like snap away. Like in Infinity that, War. Oh, and, oh shit. And like everyone Dude. starts turning to dust around him <laughs> and like it just fucks with him so hard. Like, oh god, like am I about to go again? Is this happening again? again? Damn. Like Dude. And, and that'd be like a really sick, like Ooh. Mysterio illusion and be like, Don't fuck with me, kid. Like I always just like how the vulture did, he's like, I'll kill you. <laughs> yeah, I always thought exactly. what, what would be a mind fuck. Sorry for interrupting. But hey, no, what would be, no, no, what'd be like a mind fuck for Peter is oh, oh, of course Mysterio wouldn't know. Nice, Peter Parker, probably. 
But I was thinking mm. if he makes him see Uncle Ben, that would be a right kick in the balls for him. Yeah. If he somehow yeah, shows work. him that. Or or Nico, you mix it with your ideas, Uncle Ben, and Uncle Ben gets dusted oh, in God. front of him. That's what I was thinking too. Like, you thinking that? <laughs> I want that to be their first encounter. Like, what, the second that Mysterio like finds out Peter's identity or whatnot, like, or he he doesn't even. But like, if it be his first encounter or the the moment he finds out Peter is Spider Man, have that same effect when Vulture found out Peter was Spider Man. Like, it it gets really real. Quickly, like really fast, like it, yeah. get, like it really fast. And like you, like like my heart sank when he pulled that gun on Peter. I was like, oh fuck, and like the bit in the car. Like, yeah. I have you that can just feel an attention. Like, exactly, yeah, yeah, exactly. Have that same effect, but with like you know, Peter gets like like mind fucked, and now he's in this happy world. Like you, like Nico said, make, mixed both of the ideas. He's like on a family vacation with all his friends, and he's at the carnival. Blah 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 blah, and then he sees Uncle Ben turn to dust and then he sees Aunt May turn to dust and he sees all his friends <laughs> just turn everybody. to dust and then he's, he looks down and then he's turning to dust again and then you see then you cut back to reality you see Peter like on the ground crying and then he kind of slowly co- starts coming out of it but he's still like going through like immense shock because he's reliving his death and yeah. then you see Jake Gyllenhaal just <laughs> lean over to him he's like up, stay out the way or I will kill you <laughs> And then, like, he walks away, and Peter doesn't do anything because he's just so scared. It's so fucked it will be the up. First, Yeah, it'll be the first time that a villain gets away from Peter, not because he beat him in a fight, because he just fucked with his mind. Yeah. And I feel like that would be a completely different way to fight a villain, yeah. and it's going to be the most interesting way to fight a villain yeah. now. That's why Mysterio we, we had... is, so, so, is so interesting, because it is just exactly. mental stuff. So there's a lot of things yeah. you can do to someone. Yeah, we had and, so uh, many Spider-Man movies. <laughs> we have Spider-Man 1, 2, 3, Amazing Spider-Man 1, 2. Then we had him in Civil War. We had him yep. in Avengers Infinity War. And then we had him in okay. Homecoming. Now with this, that's nine Spider-Man movies within two decades. Pretty quick. Nine <laughs> Spider-Man movies. In, two, in 20 yeah, years, yeah. nine movies. You got to spice things up some way. Yeah, And this yeah, exactly. will be definitely the, the best way to do it. And yeah. it's going to be the most interesting fight we've seen him in in years. Plus, name, so, name digging into lesser known villains is also why I'm really liking mm-hmm. what the MCU are doing with them. Because you've got Vulture, we have Molten Man, Sandman, Hydro Man, Mysterio, who would never thought there'd be in a movie. So, yeah, you're right. Sp- changing things up is definitely the way to go. So, lesser known villains are more uh, mind stuff villains, is definitely a good way to do it. Uh, so I'd like to say, like, I think your guys' things were all cool with Uncle Ben, but what if, like, say, Tony dies in Endgame, and then he sees him, like... Oh, jeez. Like, oh. whatever, and then he gets, like, dusted or something like that. He's just like, they're like, I thought you did. He's like, come on, kid. Like, Damn. They're like, well, oh, it's just, how uh, would you die? And then, it's just oh. people people he loves. Oh. Matt, oh. Uh, tell him good oh. stuff. Okay, Gump, stop having a... What's happening know, over there? Know, no, the I'm fuck? getting ready to cry! You're making me <laughs> getting ready to fucking cry! Was, that, was like, that crying? That yes! Not sound like don't crying, make fun of my cry! That's completely <laughs> something else. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> like no. It sounds like fluids were gonna leave you. <laughs> no, yeah, but I mean, like, I, yeah. you, the second you said that, I'm thinking, like, he dies, we all my fucking feelings. cry. Like, no, like, dude, like, like, the fact that, like, there's still a chance that Tony will could die in the next mo- Avengers movie. Yeah. We're all gonna cry. <laughs> and then guess what? They're gonna be like in, in Far From Home, and they're like, guess what? He's back. Oh wait, yep, just dudes. kidding. Open that fucking wound up one more time. Let's put some bleach in there. Let's spice <laughs> things up. Put some salt. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my. Like, I just see myself in tears, like in fucking crying. Like everyone's gonna be like, it's like too soon. Too, oh god. Yeah, that shit, that's a two month old wound. You... It's still not fully healed. So uh, next up, what we can move on to is another trailer. Oh, um, yeah, should have enough time for both of these, but. Uh, it's the John Wick free trailer, the Parabellum trailer. Cannot wait for that shit. John Wick is my thing. The first one I've seen countless times. I watch it all the time. I love the world building in the second one. That trailer was awesome. And yeah, John Wick is just going to keep getting better, I hope. Because that trailer was really cool. I'm looking forward to seeing them open the world up more. Because that's the stuff I really love about John Wick. I want to learn more about the people he works with. Kind of organization, the rules they have, just different shit like that. So I think free could definitely be the best one from the world building because he's going to see so much. It's just, it just, it just looks really good. 
Um, Nico, have you even seen the second one? I forget if you said you did or did not. Or I'm thinking no, no, I've else. no, I've only seen the first one, it's so I just watched this trailer for for this. Um, <laughs> I thought it was pretty dope. Uh, I I really enjoyed the first one because I felt like it was some it was a movie that felt or felt kind of like a sequel because I feel like like. Uh, how he talks about like oh I had to do one last job to be with a girl like that seems like a normal like action movie and stuff like that and this is him coming back to it yeah maybe if there and um so like he got the girl at the end of that movie or whatever and then now this is like what happens after like oh she died of cancer like it wasn't a happy ending and it's so fucking like terrible and then you know what happens after that is so terrible (laughs) and then it's just like there's a bunch of stuff but this movie that movie didn't treat us like idiots you know they weren't like oh well here's what these coins mean here's what this organization (laughs) is here's what this hotel is no, it just was like here where you're in this world. There's gonna be a bunch of shit that goes goes on. Theon's a prick again from Game of Thrones, and yep. uh, he's fucking. But he's Baba Yaga. He's fucking the boogeyman. Yeah, That's all you need to know. Shit. And it was just a fucking wild ride. And I, it oh, yeah. looks like this one. I. I only saw the trailers for the second one. It looks like it was going to double down on that. It looks like this one's pretty cool, too. He's on a fucking horse. Like, there's <laughs> there's dogs. He got more so dogs. Cool. And I'm dogs all about with that. guns. Dogs with guns. Yeah. <laughs> that's, my, that's my favorite uh, mobile app. Uh, <laughs> dogs with guns, the mobile app. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's my favorite Instagram account. Uh, <laughs> I, I think it looks really cool. Like I said, I or like Gump was saying, I haven't seen the second one, so I can't say a bunch of stuff about it. Yep. But yeah, this looks pretty dope. I would love to if they had a double feature. I'd definitely go check it out. Or a triple feature. Oh, <laughs> I want that. I want too that much right time in it. <laughs> too much time in a cinema seat. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I'm definitely really effing excited for this. Um, the one thing yeah. <laughs> that they they uh, the John Wick movies do really well. There's a couple things, obviously. One thing is obviously the action. <laughs> You can actually comprehend what the fuck is going on. Yeah. <laughs> like it's not like these <laughs> modern action yep. movies where it's like fifty cuts for Liam Neeson to jump from one side of the fence over to the other side. That's me referencing <laughs> Shaky Cam. Three. Shaky, Shaky Cam. Cam. Or it's yeah, too like, close. They're always like right up behind the person. You can actually comprehend what's going on. Yeah, and what the one he's thing doing, that yeah. Nico said the one thing Nico says is that they don't treat you like fucking idiots. And it's really good, like they take the time to build up the lore. They don't spoon feed you information. It was, they make it you was refreshing. Refreshing it's, of a film. Do that. And so like, this means all of it. Just like Nico was saying. Yeah, so it's good that yeah, it wasn't and, just in your face with it. And another thing that they did really well was uh, this is kind of a two part. One part is building up John Wick as a badass. Like that's yeah, all, When it comes to action movies, always build up your, your main hero as a badass. And then you got to deliver. Definitely, and is, the one thing that everyone's scared of them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like they, some of the, the dialogue choices that they have. As a writer, I was floored with the dialogue choices <laughs> they had. Like they're like, "Oh, he's the boogeyman." He and the Russian mafia guys like, this. "No, he's the guy that you send to kill the fucking boogeyman." I'm like, "Ah, oh, beautiful soul." I'm like, and then they, it delivers. And the one thing that action movies tend to do is to make your action heroes. Gods, they make they're so unbelievable. Yeah, if you guys have seen the first Equalizer movie with Denzel Washington, seen that. That, that that guy is untouchable <laughs> basically. In this movie, good movie, too. he's a he's a badass, right? But he's still mortal. You see him getting punched yeah, up, and you, right. see, you him see him getting, getting shot. Up. Yeah, you see him get stitched up every fifteen fucking minutes. Yeah. But guess what? That doesn't take away from the badass action scenes. If, if oh, anything, no. it kind of enhances it. Because you're like, he's still a man. <laughs> but it, guess what? It makes you feel the action even more. Because like, oh my god, he got shot? Makes, you get, makes you get yeah, a bit nervous. Makes you get a bit nervous that he'll end up getting killed or something in a fight. Yeah. Because you can yeah, tell he can get hurt. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And Nico, remember that one uh, the one time where he said he killed two of my men with a fucking pencil? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. And the, and John Wick 2, he actually kills like a couple of guys with a fucking pencil. It's fucking dope. <laughs> it's like, he does it. And, um, he does the thing. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I remember my entire theater fucking just cheered. Getting to the John Wick 3, I'm like, okay, what are they going to possibly do to up the ante? Yeah. Dudes riding motorcycles <laughs> with katanas. Yeah, are you fucking kidding me? That's so cool. <laughs> in, any, in any other movie, that would look so stupid. But in John Wick, you're just like, Jesus, you fuck, this is so cool. Makes sense, yeah. like, 
<laughs> I was like, oh my god, I, like I, I'm so fucking excited for this movie. Can't and, wait. And for I him, think man. this is going to be the end of a trilogy. If they do continue building up the world, it's not going to be with John Wick. I, I, yeah, well, full, apparently, I fully... apparently, him and the director came out and saying they would like to do more. So it might not be the last one. They might continue it somehow. There was a TV show meant to be happening, which is like about the hotel where he goes to, which is a part of the organisation. I, yeah. I think it's about different assassins, but he might still be in that. So he can definitely keep it going. So, yeah, look forward to that. Uh, but I think... <laughs> For, if it, if I was the one making decisions, I would be like, "This is the end of an era." Like, right. like, because I mean, listen, you can't go any higher than this. Like, you literally have the entire continental people after John Wick, <laughs> because he like no spoilers because Nico hasn't seen it, but basically he broke a rule. Now everyone wants him dead. Forty yeah. million dollars on his head, <laughs> and it's kind of fucked. So it's I feel like at the end spicy. of the movie, <laughs> yeah, at the end of the movie, I think he's gonna die, and then you're gonna see him in like it might be cliched, but I think it will be nice for John Wick. The end of the John Wick trilogy, you see him with his wife and stuff like that. Yeah. They're all happy. John Wick walks off smiling. It's kind of what he deserves, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. The dude's been to hell and back again. Okay, let's give him a fucking break. So um, yeah. if he if there is a TV show, I feel like it would be the end of the John Wick era. Like everyone's talking about, like John Wick is dead. Who's gonna be the next John Wick? Who's gonna be the next it's, big guy? It's not a bad idea, actually. It's a good point. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's my thoughts on the trailer. I, I fucking geeked out, and yeah, it's a really good trailer. <laughs> Yeah, really good. So, can't wait for that one. Keanu Reeves always kicks ass. So, lastly, mm-hmm. we got a little peak thing at, uh, Shaz- at Shazam. It was like 50, 50 seconds or something. It's like a minute. Some new yeah, footage in like there. Yeah, some new footage in there. It all looks really fun. Looks like a really fun time. Looks like they just let them do what they want. Just have fun with it. And seeing Shazam get a movie is so cool. It's just, there's a lot they can do with that. And it's just... It looks like it's just going to be one hell of a funny time. So Shazam looks really good. What do you guys think about it? Uh, Dico, you can go first. The little clip we got. Uh, I thought it was uh, pretty fucking dope. <laughs> uh, I love Shazam. I think he's a fun character. I think it's so cool to have like, hey, what would happen if a kid can just fucking turn into a fucking Superman yeah. for a while? <laughs> uh, I think it's really cool. I'm curious to see how the villain is going to be. They haven't really showed a ton of it. We got a little more in this yeah, footage. Like a punch. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, they're probably going to have a fucking uh, Man of Steel-esque fight at yeah. the end. Mockingbird fight. Uh, <laughs> my favorite, sh- or that, I guess two, my two favorite things from this, is when he jumps off the cliff and says, Shazam! And like, yeah! he jumps into the midair. That was so that was cool. so fucking dope. <laughs> that like should be how the movie ends. Like maybe like that's how he goes to like fight him at the end. But if it ended like that, I would like uh, jizz all Well, the after movie. he saved Second everybody. Second baby so boy. Me. I'm awesome. <laughs> Flies away. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and they have all the Shazam kids there, so that's cool. Yeah, I don't know definitely. How they, I, don't think they, I don't think they'll turn into anything. Maybe not um, a sequel or. Oh. No, nah, I probably got, <laughs> or, I got it. Or if ever. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that'd be sequel building. I can't see them doing that this one. The, the supporting actor, the what? Or the the disabled orphan kid. Oh, the kids <laughs> from it. it. I think yeah, from it yeah, yeah. I think he, I think he's doing a really good job. I'm really look forward to seeing him. And then my fa- my other favorite part was when he's like, uh, "I'll take your finest <laughs> uh, beer." <laughs> That's like everybody when you turn 21. Yeah, it's, the, it's <laughs> fun. It's funny, no? It's like, all right. I'm a kid. I can turn into a guy. What's the first thing we do? Oh, I know. Let's buy Let's get beer. Fucked up! It's like every kid. <laughs> it's like every kid reaction. I think most kids would go, "Yeah, I'm gonna go buy some beer." <laughs> yeah, like he's, he's, first... he's gonna hate it. It's gonna be so funny when he's like, <laughs> he's like, like "What the it fuck out. is this? <laughs> what is this shit? Ugh. Why is every Why is everyone make a big deal about this piss water? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, well, like he doesn't like... doesn't understand strength. He strength drinks it. He's like, ah, and just like he's throw it away. It ends up breaking a building or some shit. Ah. Wait, wait. <laughs> oh, what if he drinks a Shazam right? <laughs> and he, he's not affected by alcohol, so he keeps trying to chug it, right? He's like, mm, this tastes like shit, but what's the big oh, deal? So he keeps good. chugging it, then he goes as a kid, and then, it, like, the alcohol is still in his system, and he gets instantaneously, like, fucked up. Like, he's, like, pissed that is drunk. so funny. And he's like, and his mom's gonna be like, honey, are you drunk? He's like, no. No, no, I... I You're am, drunk. I, I am absolutely... <laughs> Not not <laughs> drunk. <laughs> and he just throws up all over. Him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, also, I love the fucking. Uh, 
I love the Kendrick Lamar remix do, that, do, that they put do, in the trailer. Do, do, do. I was like, this is why is this why is this slap so hard? Like, why is it so cool? I, I just I don't understand. It works. That song works perfectly with what it is. Because I don't really like the song, but the lyric yeah. going "Be humble" makes sense since he's he's freaking Superman now. He's like <laughs> yeah. he's like ten and can turn into Superman. So the song kind of works because instead of him being stupid with it, he can like think about it and actually know what he can do with the powers to do good instead of just being a dumbass about it. I think yeah, I think the uh, first like twenty minutes he gets his powers, he's gonna be probably a dumbass. Not twenty yeah. minutes. I'll probably say the first like 10, 15 minutes. Of him having the powers, he's gonna be a dumbass. Yeah, and then he's gonna run into some conflict, <laughs> like at like at the shop, right? And he's gonna be like, "Oh, hey, hey, hey!" He, like, stop there, get shot. Oh, he's like, oh my god, <laughs> I'm a fucking god! <laughs> like, like, you're dead. Like, oh, yeah, you're, you're dead. dead. <laughs> I think that's gonna be the time where he's like, "Okay, I'm gonna be a superhero." And uh, when it comes to the villain, uh, I'm not gonna say I'm disappointed or I'm really excited because I'm kind of in the middle. Because it looks like it is just another Shazam character, like Black Adam. Yeah, I think it's just I think like he's a, a guy you tried to get the power before. Yeah, and didn't, yeah. didn't get it. Maybe like a yeah, exactly. He's someone who did who was supposed to get the powers. Of yeah, Shazam so you probably just him. see. All right, you've got them now. Let's see what you can do. Well, is that it? Okay, mm-hmm. can I have the powers back now, please? <laughs> yeah, I do really love the uh, cameo from The Rock, but I don't know. Like they haven't even talked. They're like, "Oh, he's gonna get his own movie," and then they're like, "He's well, been he's Black not even Adam. Sure. He's been Black Adam <laughs> longer than Ben Affleck's been freaking Batman." <laughs> I just said I, I would love to see Black Adam. For, Maybe I at the end, just wait and see do how it, this like movie after credit scene. I don't think it's gonna happen. Like I like you said, he's been Black Adam for so fucking long. And yeah. Like, we, like since Dwayne Johnson's been announced as Black Adam, they had like. Three or four different executive producers at Warner Brothers. Alone. Warner Brothers, yeah, to keep changing so, shit, and he I remains. Don't think, <laughs> I don't think that he's going to be uh, Black Adam, which upsets me because basically, to me, to me personally, you guys can feel differently. Like I feel like this is just another Black Adam, uh, like you know, dollar store version. Like I might end up loving the character, who knows? But at the end of the day, it's yeah. just going to be like, wow, this could have been a lot cooler if it was. Black I can see Adam. what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, like it just—it's this guy. It's, it's same powers, like similar, similar beef with Shazam and stuff like that. Similar beef. Mm-hmm. Um, I know, uh, I know, Black Adam's origin and all that stuff. He wants to, you know, help his uh, dead wife or girlfriend. He's con- the fuck she country is. and all that. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like I get, I get all that, but like it's just like same, same powers, different dude. I'm just like at the at yeah, that maybe point, I, per- much, I would yeah. prefer, I would prefer. <laughs> we got black adam but we're not gonna get black adam so it's kind of yeah. tough um but yeah i'm like at the end of the day it's i i'm still excited for the movie because i'm not oh, going there yeah. for the villain i'm there to see shazam and it's gonna be <laughs> dope <laughs> I'm, I'm there to see us i'm there to see a superhero floss <laughs> <laughs> he does it the first trailer <laughs> i know can shazam play like, fortnite <laughs> Probably. If they make a they Fortnite reference, minute. listen. They should put listen, a minute. I love me some Fortnite. I love me some Fortnite. But like, if they mention uh, Fortnite in there, I'm probably gonna roll my eyes. Because I'm like, they you should... just probably, you probably just made a timeless esque movie. You just probably, just probably aged by ten years right then and there. Because they should put knows, a, next they should year, push next year them. Fortnite could be a fucking dead thing by now. Like 20, 2020 20 comes around, Fortnite's non-existent. It's old as shit now. Yeah, it's gone. Fucking Shazam comes on um, DVD. People are like, what's Fortnite? <laughs> Put a put Shazam in Fortnite like they did with Thanos, Bruh. bruh. That would be the perfect connection <laughs> since he flosses in the movie. Just make it happen in the game. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. That's a good point. If Fortnite's getting sued for the floss, <laughs> why isn't Shazam and Warner Brothers getting sued? Wait, he did our dance. I want all the. I want fifty percent of the revenue perform. <laughs> the perform they would the just go. Oh, just oh, oh. You want some money? Well, here you go. Here you go. No problem. <laughs> They would have just paid off everybody for that dance, probably. It's <laughs> fucking dumb, dude. Like, uh, it's not yeah, going to a Fortnite rant, but yeah, I'm really excited for this. It was crazy how, like, they didn't even try to hide that one action scene towards the end when he, it was looked directly from Man of Steel. They didn't even try to hide it. Pretty much, yeah. It's a big old they reference, didn't... I think. Yeah, it was like... It's definitely like, a what, reference. What, what was the point? Like, I'm trying to think what the point was. It was like homage to... 50% of the population that liked it, or was it a big stab toward the 50% that didn't like it? Like, I personally loved Man of Steel. Yes, yeah, so I get why, certain, I, I get why certain people didn't. I, I get yeah. why some people didn't. But, like, it's 
weird if you're doing an homage thing, but unless there was a specific reason, maybe because this is supposedly taking the uh, taking place during the same universe. So yeah, the only way I could see this making sense is if uh, Billy Batson's a massive fan of Superman. And he's trying to recreate Metropolis and the whole destruction of that. I'm like, wait, you're a superhero. You don't want to recreate that. That's a no-no. <laughs> like, yeah, absolutely. Listen. We'll recreate it because I'm Shazam, but, bitch. <laughs> yeah, like, but the thing is, if Shazam does the same exact fight scene at the end of this movie like they did in Man of Steel, you're according to certain people that hated Man of Steel, it's going to get instant problem, 15 yeah. 20% on rotten tomatoes cuz people tend to hate on man of steel because of that that final but, uh, 40 minutes so to be honest like, superman would not do that i'm like listen buddy superman was Cam superman for 2 fuck days down. yeah I'm, people but, uh, like, I'm like listen superman was superman for 2 days so you can cut him some slack buddy yeah. but to be honest it's probably just i think they'll fly around so yeah, i might just be a couple of fights or a couple of scenes of the fight is similar and then they'll go somewhere else and do something different so i don't think it'll be a recreation. That's definitely just a nod of two superpowered people flinging each other around like they're nothing. So it's gonna look similar, but yeah, yeah, I can kind of see where you're coming from. But I think it is just a little nod to Man of Steel. I don't think the whole fight will be them getting flung around a city like that. So, but yeah, yeah, it does look good. Yeah. And I'm looking forward to the movie. <laughs> yeah, me too. Really I want you guys to know it, it was it was really hard to bite my tongue when uh, we were talking about Man of Steel. It was so easy <laughs> to go off on a tangent, but I was like, nope, we're not gonna do it. <laughs> no tangents, tangents. Wait, <laughs> wait, you you hated Man of Steel? I forget. You said you hated it, right? Uh, my uh, my views of Man of Steel change like the weather, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> because I just there's some things I really like about it, and there's some things I think are so fucking dumb. Yeah, okay. yeah uh, I, I think I think if you make. I think if you make that movie, change it from Clark Kent to literally anybody else, it's a good movie. But there's certain, like, like if you made it Sentry instead of Clark Kent and Superman, like, I think it'd be fine. But just, there's just get Henry certain Campbell reasons. Just play Sentry. It'd be the perfect <laughs> That'd thing. That'd be really cool, too. There's <laughs> there's certain things that make Superman special, and you needed to hit those. And yeah, then, yeah. Uh, you know what, I understand that. Superman's, like, my favorite character ever. And there is stuff like that which I do hate in the movie. I feel like there's so much... Uh, his character and that they fucked up or just missed completely. Like they missed the chance to hit it. So yeah, I can understand that. And yeah. And su- Superman just means different things to different people. Yeah. To Zack Snyder, he likes Superman more. I personally, I, I relate to Clark Kent. Yeah, definitely. I think, yeah. I think he's, I think he's the better part of that equation. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I did it anyways. Fuck me. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. So Shazam looks really good. I just, just looks like a kid having fun, which is basically all we really are watching superheroes fight people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so is that everything you guys want to talk about on Shazam? Are we done with it? Yeah. Yeah, say so. I'm good. Cool. But yeah, so yeah, it looks really good. <laughs> so I got well, we've hit everything I wrote down, <clears throat> basically. The story points and trailers, so we did it. We finally recorded. It took too long, yeah. to be honest, <laughs> to get started. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, this is done, guys. Thanks so much for watching or listening to this episode. I hope, <laughs> hope you guys liked it. You sound cloud on it. All that stuff. But, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you come back for the third one, which I think is a Transformers topic. Me and Liam's going to talk about where we've seen the, franchise, seen the franchise going from Bumblebee. Because if that shit isn't a reboot and they don't make films... And they keep trying to connect that shit. It's going nowhere. But yeah, hopefully they just reboot that <laughs> shit. So we mean him never know about Transformers, which will probably take about just as long to record because we'll go on for hours. <laughs> so yeah, so I'll put the links to these guys. Follow, go subscribe to Gumps and New World Nerds. Their stuff's really cool. Ha, huh, I'm couple, first. Couple of great American guys. Don't do any ego shit, Gump. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, you're not going to hurt my feelings. It's all good. <laughs> my feelings. So you go follow them. I'll put their, wow. put their stuff in the description for Twitter and all that stuff. So, yeah, hopefully you guys like this one and join us in the next one. So, see you guys later. Bye. Bye! <laughs>